Yo guys, welcome back to another GTA 5 video. Today we're going to be doing another like customization in dealership. So let's get straight into it, shall we? So is there any particular model which you're looking for? So I know you want an ultra fast vehicle that has some amazing agility around all turns, ultra high top speed and very fast acceleration ah ok and you don't have a budget well that's perfect so straight off the bat we have a grotty furia which is incredible at top speed acceleration wise is great as well and it also looks very cool ah, ok so you don't want italian no worries um, there's a Benefactor Cracker, which is um, a, like a Mercedes-Benz AMG Project 1. It's crazily fast, but it's also very expensive. Okie dokie. Oh, we have a Trafade Frax, which is a Bugatti. No. Okay. Oh. Okay, so you like the principal, the Veste 8. So looking at this, this is quite a crazy vehicle. It began as a little more than a myth, a list of impossible statistics circulating on the dark net. Then the myth became a legend. A few leaked photographs so provocative that the possession was federal crime. Then the legend became a rumour. The car so exclusive no one could confirm it existed in the real world and now, thanks to that rumour is about to become a very messy headline. This car is crazy. So you like this shot, do you? Perfect, so let's get you it then. So, looking at the colours, is there any colour which you like? Obviously we're going to change this anyway. Okay, so you like white, just to start off with. Perfect, so let's get you that then. Okay, so your car has been delivered. Obviously, we got the pink colour wrong. This happens to be a fully blacked out Veste 8. But no worries, we will get that sorted right out for you. So, driving this car off the bat in the rain is a very slippy car. But it does handle great and you can take control very quickly. Like, this car just looks very strange. It looks so different, but I like it. It's not like anything I've ever seen, really. So, looking at the headlights, the headlights are like tons of mini LEDs. They create a stunning pattern. It's almost like a starlight. It, it looks like it resembles um, space and all the stars due to the way that the lights are all the miniature individual LEDs. But yeah, the exhaust on this are huge. So, and I've just crashed. As always, everyone knows me, I crash. So, welcome to Los Santos Customs. Straight off the bat. Do you, well, just go straight to customization. So, from Bumper. Obviously, this is stock. Or you can have like a primary ridge. A secondary bridge in the middle, black bridge, or you could have carbon. Okay, so you like the secondary idea? I do too. I have, I always rev the engine to get rid of the smoke. So this is stock. That's primary. That's secondary. This is a carbon diffuser. These are primary fins, and these are all secondary fins. So. Ah, okay, yeah, I like the secondary fins diffuser with carbon fibre as well. Chassis. So, this is just that little, tiny little bit, just below the, the rear windscreen. We can change this to different colours. Well, yeah, these are light strips, so these do glow. So, is there any colour? Secondary, I like that too. Now, engine obviously we can just do all this after now for the, for the exhaust these are huge so you obviously want them to look very 
very cool, don't you? Well, oh wow, well the jets do look very cool, don't they? So we can have a chrome, a gold, or we can have titanium. Okay, so we'll go for the titanium just for now. We can always change that. For the headlights, let's go with Xeons, even though they are the LED. Let's just add all on the clothes because I always do, and then we'll change the after view. Okay, so we can add different colored um, liveries, or different style of liveries. So this is pink pinstrap, which does look quite cool, I have to say. This is like a yellow stripe, these are like facey liveries. This is looks, but we can't tell just that because the vehicle is black. This is grey pinstripe. Now grey does look very cool, not gonna lie. This is negative, so add like a cool little coloured pattern. But obviously what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the colour first because that way it'll just be a lot easier. So, I heard you liked white, did you? Or is there any other colours? Sure, but I'll always go through the list for you. So, these are all metallics obviously, but we don't have to stick with metallic if you don't want. So you let me know which you like and I can always just show it for you. Chevin, so let me show you some mats. Now matte does look very cool, not gonna lie. But this card does suit every colour, but that matte orange actually looks very, very cool. I tell you what, let's buy that matte orange and let's try add a um, pleasant to this vehicle. If I can even find where to do it. Well, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to have to add a little something and just hopefully, there we go. So we can add a pleasant now. See, I think frost white looks absolutely crazy, but so does yellow. Like, for instance, look at this yellow, it's like a gold. Going down through the list, I still think that the one that stands out the most to me, though, is this frost white, but ice white also looks very, very cool. Like, from this angle, frost, yeah, I think ice white, ice white in this situation, so let's go with that secondary colour so we can add the matte orange as well but let's see okay yeah I think metallic black looks fine the way it is and I'm glad you think so too so for the interior let's go with a um, orange to match let's go with just normal orange we don't need any particular orange and then um Let's go with the spoiler, obviously. I just had to select one in order to get a little glitch. But, in general, looking through this list, I think no spoiler looks good. It looks perfect. Now, we'll lower the suspension just to fill out the wheel out just a little bit more for you. The wheels. Okay, so the wheels, these are the Cheetah R R Alloys. And these do look quite cool on their own but as you can tell there is a lot of carbon already so what we can do is um, I think carbon would suit it a lot so look at this list it's between the carbon carbonic R's I mean Z carbonic solars or carbon cheetahs um, Okay, I think the carbon, oh, but well, they look good. I think the carbon cheetahs, yeah. So let's go with them. Let's just make it black because black always looks cool. Custom tires, bulletproof tires, and black tire smoke as always. And fully limoed windows. So now let's go back to the bumpers, and because we've got a um, different style now, let's add a. Does the primary really look good? No. So let's just add carbon to match. Yep, carbon. For the rear bumper, I think the all but primary looks very cool. But also, I like the primary. 
Finn's diffuser. So let's go with that. Okay. Well, exhaust, obviously. Gold suits it, but the blue stands out, the titanium blue. Now it's many liveries. See, that looks quite cool, but I'm not sure. Oh.
this is based off the um, Devil 16, which was made in Dubai in the Arab Emir Emirates. Um, it's got like 5,000 horsepower. There's only a few ever made, but I don't think they've actually been driven on the road properly. Um, but obviously for the reason that they have 5,000 horsepower. Now just to put that in per into perspective, a Bugatti Chiron has 1500 horsepower, 1500 horsepower. The Devil 16 has around 5000. So for that to be over three times as powerful in specs, that's crazy. But whether or not if that will actually show down on the road in the actual driving of the game, then we will know. We won't know until this obviously a drag race. Driving this now, I well, it's very good. 1.795 million dollars, I think this costs. Would I buy this, or would I rather get something else on GTA? Um, well, I would personally not buy this vehicle, and there's quite a few reasons around why. Reason one looks very unrealistic like trust me when I say that it looks cool but it's unrealistic you would never see a car like this properly on the road like I said the Devil 16 has not properly been on the road ever um, so if you like realism like I do I wouldn't get this but if you like a car which is quite a good race tracker I'll get you around corners quick, accelerate fast. This is quite a good shout for you for the price. I think it's a very good bargain. I would have expected this to be around 2.3 million dollars on GTA, so for it to be like 2.8, then it's a very good deal. So yeah, I fully recommend. I recommend if you enjoy doing that type of stuff. Customization wise, this does have a lot of customization in terms of liveries and designs, but not as much in like the bumpers and exhausts, etc. Um, for instance, the exhausts look huge from the outside, but they're actually quite small. On, well, the pipe's actually very small, so that makes it a bit unrealistic again, a bit less what you'd expect. Rockstar, so I mean that's what they do, isn't it? Um, but yeah, this is quite good. The reason why I chose this car is because I currently have a lack of funds, as you can see. I have like one point, one point seven k, well, one hundred seventy k now. Um, but once I get more money, I will be doing like a lot better cars. For instance. Benny's vehicles would be perfect to do these type of videos with due to the amount of customizations. Oh my god. Well, that was honestly the most saddest thing that's ever happened on GTA. I was just cruising along and this car pulled out in front of me while I was going like 150. But I mean, they're kind of dumb to do that, are they? But it's GTA, so what else do you expect? Okay, so. I'm going to end the video now because for some reason I'm off road. But yeah, so as always, thank you all for watching. Please be sure to like, comment and subscribe for more videos. Hit the notification bell so you always stay tuned for when my next video uploads. And yeah, so thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.